All hail the new king and queen of cinema, Barbenheimer. The Barbie movie has been out for over a week now, and it's completely slaying at the box office, breaking records left, right and centre, as well as being forecast to join the One Billion Club. There is no denying that the film is popular, and the PR campaign has worked wonders to get people back into cinema. But the question remains, is the film any good? Spoiler warning as always for the Barbie movie. The film begins in Barbie land, a matriarchal society where all the different Barbies are confident, successful and independent. The Ken dolls on the other hand are all losers and spend their days trying to get the attention of their Barbie counterparts. The story primarily focuses on stereotypical Barbie, played by Margot Robbie, and her counterpart Ken, Beach Ken, played by Ryan Goslin. Life in Plastic is definitely fantastic for stereotypical Barbie, before she starts to question her existence and has an existential crisis, and she starts to get cellulite and become flat-footed. Following advice from Weird Barbie, stereotypical Barbie must venture to the real world to find her owner to determine why she is having the thoughts she is, and to reverse the changes Barbie is experiencing. Beach Ken joins stereotypical Barbie and the two set off to the real world. The rest of the two hour film involves Barbie trying to find her human, Gloria, whilst evading the Murtel company who want to capture and remanufacture her. Ken, meanwhile, realises that in the real world he is respected as a man and that patriarchal society mostly rules. Ken heads back to Barbie land before Barbie with his newfound knowledge of what it means to be a man, leading to a Ken uprising to take over Barbie land and forcing the Barbies to go back to their stereotypical female roles whilst the Kens rule society. Barbie returns to Barbie land with Gloria and her daughter Sasha and is devastated to learn that the Kens have now taken over. With the help of Gloria and Sasha, the Barbies take back Barbie land from the Kens and stereotypical Barbie heads back to the real world to begin life as a human. The plot is as cookie cutter as it sounds, but it does explore some serious themes around mortality, what it is to be human, consumerism and female empowerment whilst trying to remain a comedy. At times it does a great job juggling the themes, but sometimes it is too on the nose and enough to make you roll your eyes. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are fantastic in their respective roles, and the supporting cast are also great, with a special shout out to Simu Lee, who plays Taurus Ken, a rival to Ryan Gosling's Ken. Margot Robbie is the perfect casting choice for Barbie, and plays the role to absolute perfection, but for me, Ryan Gosling is the absolute standout, stealing every scene he is in. The Ken dance scene may well be the best segment of the entire film. The set and costume design throughout are masterful at making you feel like you are in a Barbie world, and it is no surprise that all the best parts of the film take place in Barbie land. The movie soundtrack is fantastic, with hits from Billie Eilish, Lizzo and Dua Lipa to name a few. The comedy mostly lands and I was loving the campiness of the film. Pretty good so far, right? Well, yes, but the film does let itself down by its perceived agenda against men and the patriarchy. I'm all for a progressive equal society where women have the same rights and pay as men, but this film treats the Kens like clueless idiots, and even after the uprising is put to an end by the Barbies, and the film has a chance to promote equality for all, it places the matriarch front and centre again and kicks the Kens back to the curb as second class citizens. I know what you are thinking. Jackson, you aren't the target demographic, and the film is about the Barbie dolls, of course it will be about feminism and girl power. And sure, I have no problem with that on face value. However, I feel it's too on the nose and it felt like director Greta Gerwig has an obvious agenda against men and Hollywood. Greta had the perfect opportunity to push for equality at the end of this film, and to promote a positive message to the audience, and it's a shame she didn't take that opportunity. Furthermore, the film definitely dips in quality during the middle part, and the real world stuff just didn't hit the same highs as the Barbie Land sections at the beginning and end. I didn't like the Murtel plot points at all. I felt the Will Ferrell character wasn't necessary and the corporate bigwigs definitely didn't need to follow Barbie back to Barbie Land, as it really didn't add anything to the overall narrative. In summary, the Barbie movie does a lot right, with its excellent cast, set design, costume design and soundtrack but it lets itself down with a slow middle act and what felt like an agenda against men by its director. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling excel in their roles and the comedy and musical numbers are unapologetically camp. The film is mostly a fun time, 
but life in plastic is definitely not fantastic, especially if you are a Ken. Final score, 6.5 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the Barbie movie, and whether or not you enjoyed it. I'm curious to know if you had the same opinions as I did. And if you are new here then welcome to the channel. Consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more TV and film content. A simple click of a button goes a long way and helps with the growth of this channel, and means the absolute world to me. And thank you to everyone already subscribed, and I will see you next time.